people are probably more familiar with rheumatoid arthritis. Yes. And for comparison, rheumatoid arthritis, it's, it behaves very similarly as far as the impact of the joint. But with rheumatoid arthritis, it's symmetrical. So like if you get a yes. left knee, it's going to be right knee next, mm -hmm. uh, left ankle, right ankle. Psoriatic arthritis does the same damage, but it's sporadic. Like mine started off, I got it in my left knee, then I got it in my right hand, uh, left elbow, right foot. You know, it's like all over. So, and, you know, to, to describe it, there's a there's a website called RA Warrior, uh, which is a, a rheumatoid arthritis uh, kind of forum, uh, you know, blog, I guess. And there was a meme in there and it was like, imagine that your joints are slowly being ripped apart. Now imagine that you're not imagining it. I mean, that's that's relatively it's it's a lot of pain. Um, mm -hmm. And I think probably for me, just outside of the, the weakness in the joint, I think probably the number one thing for me that has been the biggest struggle is the fatigue that comes with it. Uh, you it takes a lot of mental energy to kind of block that out all day long. Yeah. And then just, you know, we'll get into it later, too. But the uh, the medications you take for it as well. Yeah. Typically are pretty draining. Yes. Mm -hmm, definitely. So how has taking medication helped or hasn't helped or do you take medication? <laughs> I do. Um, you know, Brady and I were talking a little bit before we started here. So I, I was diagnosed at 23 and um, they, they tried to prescribe the, the medication at the time, uh, which is it's methotrexate is kind of the gold standard for psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis treatment, you know, and, and not to mention with the insurance, you know, it's kind of like you got to do this before you do anything else which is frustrating, but mm -hmm. methotrexate is actually a medication that they give in chemotherapy, but what, what they give us is an extremely low dose of it. But at 23 years old, you know, and at, at this point, I just had like a little patch on my elbow of the psoriasis and my knee was hurting. And uh, they, they hand me this medication and the list of side effects, it's like includes cancer, death, tuberculosis, bone marrow depletion, liver failure. You know, it's like all these serious symptoms. And I'm like, the hell with that. And I'm not taking that. Mm -hmm. So I let it progressively go on. So it was, I was 28 and was told I'm a candidate or candidate already for a total hip replacement before I actually even started the medication. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's medication's pretty crazy too. Yeah, it is. I would, uh, I would add to the medication. It depends on what your body can allow, but, uh, mm -hmm. I actually, Every two weeks, I have to give myself a self-injected Humira shot. You've probably seen Humira commercials. So I've got my little uh, EpiPen here. Nice. So yeah, that's just something I stab myself in the leg every two weeks. And you know, if you're afraid of shots or things like that, you kind of have to get over it, which is interesting too. And for me, luckily, I don't mind that kind of stuff so much. But I can imagine people who have any kind of phobia around that, that would be super challenging. Um, but yeah, the medication's rough. Like when I first got diagnosed in uh, 2010, I was 29 years old. Um, the person gave me too much of it. And so I had like, sorry if this is too graphic, but you know, I'd throw up in my mouth and had nausea and stuff like that. And I was losing hair. So like the symptoms were almost worse for the treatment than the actual condition itself at that early stage. So I went off medication and spent the next three, four years kind of in the wilderness being hurt all the time because I didn't want to be throwing up in my mouth all the time. So same here. Yeah, it yeah. seems like the side effects are really strong. 